Hey there, I am back with another unboxing and today I have a mystery package from my friend Julio, AKA Magic GNS on Instagram. And he's a great collector, has a tremendous selection of decks. Go follow him on Instagram if you get a chance. Uh, but he once in a while sends me these great mystery packages and I'm always really excited to see what he sends me. Some great fun decks inside. Just always a lot of fun to open these up. And who doesn't love a good mystery package? So let's get into this one and see what Julio has in store. All right, cut off the address, cut open the tape, but haven't looked at the decks yet, so let's find out what they are together. All right, looks like we have something, something on this side, maybe more decks, but let's take a look at these individual ones over here. I'll pull it off to the side, just so you guys don't get too much of a peek. All right, here we go, first deck. And has a couple of stickers here first. So we have this one, which looks like a riffle shuffle, maybe from the Surf deck. Oh, this might be from Surf V2. That would be cool to be in there. Big fan of the Surf deck. Uh, but there's a riffle shuffle decal. And this one, okay, I think this is from the Cuban Missile Crisis deck that was on Kickstarter. Uh, these are like extra tuck seals. And here's the first deck, and yep, there it is. Cuban Missile Crisis deck, done in this cool pop art style. Really interesting contrast to have these like bright, fun colors with you know how scary the actual uh, Cuban Missile Crisis was. But very nice, Cuban Missile Crisis. One that I ended up not backing on Kickstarter and kind of wish I had, but now I've, now I've got it. All right, next up, all right, we have a four pack of decks here. Let's grab the first one. And we have Matador. Okay, this was a playing card decks uh, deck. Yeah, playingcarddecks.com. Very cool. Playing cards uh, from, from them. Uh, Matador, kind of a bicycle style, but with the bull and the Spanish Matador feature. Nice, like that one. All right, next one up. Uh, another Matador. I don't know if like one of them's limited and one of them's not. See, this one says limited edition. Oh, they both say limited edition. But there's a black and a red version. Nice. Matador bicycle decks. All right, next one up. Okay, Coda's, Coda's Almanac. Uh, Julio has actually sent me the first two in this one. I think it's eventually gonna be a six deck series in all different colors, but there are a series of transformation cards off of Kickstarter from playingcarddecks.com. Uh, actually, I think their fourth one is funding now on Kickstarter, if you're interested. Uh, but that's a cool little vintage remake of a deck. Coda's Almanac playing cards, volume three. All right, next up. All right, this is the one I suspected might be in here. Surf V2. Uh, this is a really, really fun deck. Yeah, by Dario Gennardi. A great artist. Lots of fun artistic designs on these. Uh, the original Surf V1 was actually one of my top 10 decks for 2019. I'm a big fan of it. Bright, just a really fun functional deck. Oh, nice, Surf V2. All right, now we've got more here. Let's see what's on, oh, it's a big one here. Have a large box. You may be able to see what's inside already. All right, let's get the tape off of this one and get it unwrapped. This is a cool one. Now, I actually saw this one shown off on an, on an Instagram live that Julio did with Matt, AKA Bayou Playing Cards, another great collector in the community. Uh, but he did a live and was showing off this deck, the Art of Magic Magicians kit. Uh, yeah, it has a bunch of different stuff. There's a deck of cards, of course, uh, some postage stamps, and just some interesting little fun facts about it. But it's a, it's a cool little kit here. Uh, these are actually produced by the United States Postal Service. That's why the stamps are in there. Uh, and they put it together in this fun little kit. I've been eyeing this one for a really long time. So really excited to add this to the collection. That is, it's an awesome looking box. And of course, it's got some playing cards inside. So who wouldn't love it? So there you go. That is it. Empty box. And these are the decks. So thanks again, Julio. Always love getting the packages. Tremendous picks as always. Love every single one of them. So thanks for sending them out. I uh, hope you guys enjoy getting a chance to get a little peek at the mystery mail day today. And make sure to subscribe for more deck reviews and unboxings. Let me know which one of these maybe you want to see opened up on a future video. That's it for now, and I'll see you for the next one.